I really didn't understand who would do that. I was just trying to think why. Why would they do this to, for such a happy place? It's literally a place where dogs run and play, and members there can't understand why it was a target for destructive vandals. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nick LaFay. And I'm Juliette Briggs. Most of the damage is repaired at Shaggy Pines Dog Park in Ada, and now detectives are studying surveillance video trying to identify the suspects. WZZM 13's Phil Dawson is here now to explain how that's going. Well, the surveillance video is dark and grainy, but still offers a couple of clues. Three or four males driving a golf cart and a pair of utility vehicles stolen from the course across the street. They knocked down fences and other features at Shaggy Pines, leaving behind lots of damage and bewildered owners wondering what was the point. Yeah, they fixed it. There you go, guys. Most of the damage to the Shaggy Pines dog park is now repaired. Areas that were temporarily off limits are again accessible to pets and their owners. They really confused the dogs when they found out that they couldn't come into this field. And he's so used to going into the certain areas, he was ready to go into the certain area, and he was not able to go into one of his favorite spots to play. It makes it a little inconvenient because that's one third of the park. They're up in the front field ruining that fence that comes up the driveway. There, you saw like three or four guys there. At about 1.15 Saturday morning, vandals stole a golf cart and two utility vehicles from the Quail Ridge Golf Course across the road and used them to bulldoze down fences at Shaggy Pines Dog Park. The fence line, some signs were damaged, um, our porta potty and dumpster were moved. Damage was done to the golf carts and then also the fence over here. Somebody came over and deliberately damaged the facility for some it reason. That's what it looks like, yeah. You never know what people are thinking anymore. You know, why would they do that? I was sad, disappointed, couldn't believe that someone would do would do this to such a such a great place. Oh, there we go. The security camera video isn't clear enough to identify the suspects. I don't know if we'll ever really understand why they did it. But the damage is fixed and the dogs and their owners have their place to play. Well, what's the value of this facility to you and to other dog owners? Uh, I know our dog Hank has a lot of energy and he loves coming here, meeting up with Buddy and uh, getting his energy out playing, having a great time. So it means a lot to both Hank and uh, us. Police said they're eager for any information anyone might have to help them identify the people responsible for the damage to the golf course and the Shaggy Pines Dog Park. Juliet? Thank you, Phil.